Well, staying with the ABC, Ita Buttrose's five-year term as ABC chair ends in March. Probably a, a wonderful time uh, for that to be occurring. And there's a few people lining up for the top job, Sophie. Who are they? Well, my colleague James Madden revealed this in The Australian today, Danika. So it's down to three contenders. Uh, former Foxtel boss uh, Peter Tonner, he is currently the deputy chair of the ABC board. You would think he's in with an almighty chance. The Sydney Opera House CEO Louise Heron and former Fairfax boss before it became Nine Entertainment, David Kirk. So it's down to three names. Ita Buttrose finishes in the first week of March. Uh, it's any day now, any week now, Danika, that this must be announced by the government, but it's down to those three. Is it going to be a captain's pick, do we think? I don't think so. I mean, there are there have been a few other names bandied around, including Julia Gillard, the former Labor Prime Minister. But uh, I think given all the controversy surrounding ABC and the controversy when there was the captain's pick of Ida Buttrose via Scott Morrison, I think Anthony Albanese and the Labor government will be making a very uh, careful decision here, Danica. Yeah, well, they're going to have, to have to, aren't they? And there's just so much going on uh, right now, the ABC and now this Antoinette Latouf saga, and it just doesn't seem to end. Now, we've got some pretty exciting news of our own here. Sky News Australia has launched a new digital streaming app. So if it's very exciting, what more can you tell us about it? Well, it is, Danica. I mean, basically, viewers out there who uh, perhaps don't have access to Sky News as easily as they would like can now pay $5 a month to access all the primetime shows, 24-hour seven coverage, uh, commentators, daily newsletters, the like. Uh, this is a great offering and one that's only going to boost Sky News' popularity even further. They can listen to you, Danica. Uh, <laughs> so why not join and sign up? You can do so on the Sky News news website absolutely get on the sky news website and check it out it's it is a really good offering uh, as you said sophie and uh it's very exciting that we've launched this one today sophie ellsworth media writer with the australian always great to speak with you thanks so much for joining us